Hello YouTube, B3 here back with another kicking action figure review. Today's review is over the Avengers 3 and 3 quarter inch Iron Man Fusion Armor Mark 7 figure. Yeah, um, it's not good. <laughs> it's, it's a little, uh, okay, let me just explain. So, I have been collecting Iron Man three and three quarter inch figures. A lot of them. I have a ton, actually. They're a really big thing for me, collector-wise. I look for them everywhere I go. I really, really love them, but I'm mostly talking about Marvel Universe and Iron Man 2 stuff, especially since Iron Man 2 stuff seems to be on clearance everywhere for like five dollars, and I pretty much cleared out every place I could find ones I didn't have. I really really love that line and I had all the movie armors up to six and then this guy came out with the Avengers line and I was like yeah new new Iron Man armor I get to have the mark seven in my lineup who okay um it lost like two-thirds of its articulation I mean it still looks good it still has the detail and paint the quality of that hasn't gone down at all but the articulation is bad and there is there's just a lot of problems with this guy but he does come with a little gimmick it's his spinning saw blade it's kind of stupid actually really um it, it just it spins no big deal and like lots of Captain America stuff, which, you know, it's probably... Uh, got this little peg here. He can either hold it... Uh, he can hold his shield, or it can clip on. But the peg is kind of too big for his little hand, and he'll stretch his hand out, and then he won't be able to hold it at all. But he also doesn't have a totally circular arm so that stretches the clip but that doesn't really matter because it's the gimmick and no one actually cares I mean it looks all right but overall it's pretty it's pretty dumb it's a pretty dumb gimmick anyhow at least it's optional but I would rather have more articulation than the gimmick also, those Iron Man 2 figures came with, like, stands and armor cards and all kinds of cool stuff. Which probably wasn't totally cost-effective, especially since they made, like, a billion figures. So, I don't blame them for cutting that stuff out, but cutting the articulation... Eh. Speaking of articulation, let's get into that. You got side-to-side -side on the head, which is good, but then up and down is virtually non-existent. Very little movement. Uh, up and down on the arms is just fine. Uh, he's got a little shoulder pad hindrance, but you know, what's that among friends? Uh, forward and back on the arms, good. Elbow bend and rotation, fine, but uh-oh. No wrist articulation. That's a prob. And then no torso articulation of any kind, no waist articulation of any kind. Forward and back on the legs, in and out on the legs, thigh swivel, knee bend and rotation, which is cool, I guess. And then no foot articulation, so he's really doesn't have much articulation at all. Uh, but pain details, you know, not bad. It has one or two spots that are like, eh, but other than that, you know, he's fine. He's got eyes and his whole head looks pretty good, actually. He's got a little, a little pain on his back here, sort of detail. And he's got that peg hole there, where you can plug that in like that. Not that anyone's ever going to do that. But, yeah. Whatever, and he's got his gold and silver on the back of this too. Uh, the joints aren't painted, which is fine. They are detailed. He's got like little uh, ridges in his articulation. See that? That's a pretty nice little touch. It's on the arms too. You can't see it on this arm because the joint is backwards. See, it's on this side and this side's flat. Yeah. That doesn't really matter though, does it? But he's got lots of for the most part, clean gold and silver paint all over. His reactor looks dumb. It's just this white, this like milky white. 
It's like, ugh, what is that even supposed to be? And it's on the hands too, but it doesn't look as bad on the hands because it's smaller. But still, you know, I like that blue glow that we had with older Iron Man figures. But older, of course, I still need Iron Man too. But gotta give this thing props for still being better than the Iron Man 3 line, which is total garbage all around. Now we'll start with some size comparisons. Here's our Mark 7 Iron Man with some other 3 and 3 quarter inch movie figures from the Marvel Hasbro toy lines. Uh, here on the left we have this Thor. I don't remember if it was Sword Strike Thor. I want to say Sword Strike Thor. Whatever. I give out him because, you know, I wanted an Avengers Thor figure. And this was before I was really into buying online. I didn't really get into that until like the past year or two. But, yeah, he, uh, he's not the best figure either. But he's a cool, he looks cool, once again. And I think they scale up just fine. The other Thor's a big ass guardian, Iron Man's in a suit. You know, they look cool together. And then here on the right, we have the fantastic Mark IV Iron Man from the Iron Man 2 movie line, which is super awesome. But yeah, you know, Iron Man, uh, the Iron Man two figures a tiny bit bigger, but his legs are also a little closer together because he has foot articulation and he can do that. Unlike freaking Mark seven. <laughs> but yeah, you know, he's going to scale up well with your other Marvel three and three quarter inch movie figures. Now here he is with some comic characters from the Marvel Universe line. On the left we have the modular armor Iron Man or you know, Heroic Age Iron Man or he's got a few names. But, I think they look cool together. Modular Armor Iron Man right now is the favorite 3 and 3 quarter inch Iron Man in my collection. So much so that I almost bought the 6 inch one. And, uh, pretty cool. Plus here on the right, we have the Future Foundation Spider-Man. You didn't think I was going to review a Marvel figure without throwing some Spider-Man in there, did you? By the way, I'm filming this on uh, May 2nd, so the Amazing Spider-Man just hit theaters. Tomorrow's free comic book day. Definitely gonna check it out. Then, but uh, yeah, Spider Man is a little taller than Tony Stark here, which, you know, doesn't bother me because I'm never really gonna have Spider Man standing up straight like that. He's always gonna be crouched, often with, you know, his hands on his knees or like on the ground or something because he's Spider Man, you know? He's doing that. But, I'm just going to say they scale up well together. You know, they just need to be the same general size for me. That's all I really care about. But yeah, you know, I really like the way that they're looking. He scales up well with your other three and three quarter inch Marvel figures, which is probably the most redeeming quality about this guy. So all in all, what are my final thoughts on the Iron Man Fusion Arbor Mark VII figure? He is... He's not a very good figure. Yeah, I hate to say it because I love my three and three quarter inch Iron Man to death, and I have messed around with this guy a lot, but he is not really the best. I mean, he's got good detail and paint other than his big reactor there, which bugs the shit out of me, and you know, he sighs as well, but that articulation is just so awful. And this guy was 10 bucks for like two years. It took forever for him to go on sale. And I figured he would have gone on sale much faster because everywhere I go, these three and three quarter inch Avengers figures are just, they're just packed onto pegs. No one's buying them. Not even like kids are getting them. They're just packed. And they're all like 10 bucks a piece. The only reason I got this guy was because he was on sale. Seven dollars. I figured that's the best I'm gonna get. There's only one of these here. I'm just gonna go ahead and get it because I really need a Mark Seven. So here he is. Yeah, hopefully that new Marvel Universe Avengers Infinite toy line or whatever will give us uh, Mark Forty Two and Iron Patriot. I'd really like those. So, but yeah, that's it for this review, guys. 
I think I'm gonna give this guy two out of five stars. Doesn't really have much going on. That's all I really feel like he he can get. I don't feel like he's bad enough for one star. Cause I mean, like you gotta be pretty bad for one star. You gotta be like awful. But he's not. He's not that bad. Even though he's not the best figure in the world. So yeah, two out of five stars. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe, everyone. Thank you all so much for your support. Please remember to check out the links in the description below for links to other YouTube channels like um, The Slender Happening, which is my Horror Drama Suspense channel, B3 Productions. We have lots of action figure stuff over there, like collection updates and unboxing videos. We have comic book uh, hauls, original series, vlogs, all kinds of cool stuff over there. Just check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it, check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. And also... Super Friends Benefits, which is our gaming channel now. And also, uh, check out the Fake Flip Podcast. It's a podcast that fellow YouTuber Corticon and I host about action figures and comics and movies and stuff. You can check those out. Uh, his channel is also in the link in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, follow you back on Twitter. The Fake Flip Group, we talk about figures and comics and stuff there on Facebook if you want. Lots of great stuff. Lots of great stuff, you guys. So... Yeah, that's it. As I said, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all once again for your support. Couldn't do any of this without you guys. And I'll see you all later.